everybody, this is Wanderson from Willow BJJ. I'm here today with Iron. I'm going to show you a few techniques um, covering what happened uh, a few weeks ago when Sinistro was put to sleep. Everybody was thinking that he was going to have the dominant position because he had the back, he had the hook, and suddenly he went to sleep. He passed out on the Chicago Open. So we're going to do that, the loop choke. But we're going to be setting up with the baseball choke, which is another choke that a lot of people have been using after McGee uh, put a Clark Grace into sleeping under. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do baseball choke as a setup to the loop choke. All right? Let's go. So we can get into the, there from two places today. I mean, today we're going to work on two places, from the full guard and the open guard. First time we're going to do from the full guard. So the close guard here. Controlling, I'm going to open a little bit his lapel, grab here, and control the head. As I'm controlling the head, I'm going to really open up a little bit more the opposite gi, and I'm controlling the head, just to create a distraction. After uh, no, both, both lapels are open, I keep this leg on the top, and I drop this one, and I drop here. Usually what I'm going to do, they're going to try to pass, come with the knee up, over the leg, and, 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 and start passing. As you start pass, you're sinking this one here. You can even put this hook here to kick, but it's not necessary. You can just slide or you can use the hook to kick, or if not, just slide out. And here you get the baseball choke. The baseball choke, you spin and you pin here. But because of uh, a lot of guys are using it again, because of my, my gi did it, a lot of guys are getting to learn how to pin. So here where it comes the loop. So if you here, you got the baseball, you got the knee on your belly, or it was too tight, you had a good grip, what you do is, you slide down his hand here, and we're gonna spin with the hand, not under his armpit, but here with the neck. So you have the baseball, slide down, and spin over. As you spin over, you're gonna feed my right hand, I'm gonna feed my right hand to the lapel. I feed here, and I come back. As I come back, I grab his arm. I can finish here, or like happened on the finish, on that fight at Miami Open, the guy he can even come and take your back as it happened, and it's still you can get the finish. Get the time. Let's do it again now from half guard. I mean from open guard. So the same thing you'll be you can be controlling. Half guard, you're gonna switch from here to full, switch, grab. You can go straight from here right away. As is here, I like to pull down, pull down and spin under. You can do the spin under, or like we did before, for the other one, we, we set up with the leg. So here, I bring him down, and I set up with the leg here. I, I, I give a trap. So what he does with the leg usually, they try to pass. And then when you pass, you go for it. Again, you're here, you tap, you couldn't tap, slide down, your left hand is on his lapel, slide down, and the right hand comes over. Feed the right hand with the lapel. And now we got it. Once you get here, just grab the arm, finish. That was your submission of the week. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channels. And uh, thank you, Aaron, for helping me. Adios. All right. See you guys next week.